Hello everyone, welcome to this session. My name is Jian Hang Chen. Today I'm going to introduce the paper named One Stage Object Referring with Gaze Estimation. This work was performed during my internship with Amazon Alexa AI. Currently, I'm working full time at Google. Object referring is a multimodal task that requires an understanding of both image and language and making proper connections between them. It has a wide variety of real world applications, especially for human computer interaction. Gaze information helps improve the virtual shopping experience. Without gaze information, to correctly refer to the bag highlighted in the red box, the person needs to say a lot of complex description such as show me the green bag second from the left in the bottom row. If the virtual assistant can detect the gaze information, the person only needs to say show me the bag. The red star shows the predicted gaze position of the person. Here is the network structure. The network contains three branches, language processing, scene image processing, and the gaze image processing. The network is based on a one-stage object detector retina net, and we extend it by incorporating the language feature and the gaze information into the feature pyramid. To efficiently use the gaze signal, we build a gaze heat map with the gaze prediction and an entry position encoding map. In this figure, P is the feature map from the feature pyramid, D is the feature map from the language, G is the gaze heat map. We incorporate gaze signal into detector feature with heat map. The left image shows the original image with two cards. The middle image shows the corresponding detector feature. Since the detector wants to detect all the cards, the corresponding feature A and B should be similar. To use the gaze signal, we want to build a heat map to highlight feature B and separate feature A. The position encoding map is the normalized version of the XY coordinate. The gaze heat map G is defined as the normalized distance from each point to the gaze position. We run object referring with gaze experiment on the cityscapes or dataset, which is an enhancement of the cityscapes dataset. We evaluate the performance of object referring using accuracy at 1. From the table above, you can see that our one stage model outperforms two stage model with more modalities, such as optical flow, and the depth information. As far as we know, object referring with gaze, ORG, is the only method using gaze for object referring. Besides that, we also compared several language-based object referring methods, SIM model, MCB, and NLOR. Our retina net is the proposed one-stage object referring model, and our FRCNN applies the proposed idea to a two-stage object detector. The proposed one-stage object referring system is a clear winner overall, considering all the models using only the scene image, the language description, and the gates. The proposed model outperforms the previous state-of-the-art by 13.3%, even compared to the previous state-of-the-art with two additional modalities. The proposed method also wins by 7.8%. We also evaluate the performance of our gaze estimator. The gaze prediction error is defined as the L2 distance between the predicted gaze point and the center of the referred object. The resolution of the scene image is around 2000 by 1000. The distribution of the estimation error is shown in this figure with an average error of 271 pixels. To see object referring performance with simulated gaze signal, we can clearly see that for both models, the more accurate the gaze estimator, the better the final performance. However, we can also find that the perfect gaze prediction doesn't always predict a perfect object referring result. The main reason is that the final result is a combined prediction of multi-modality input. The prediction result will be false when the predicted size of the bounding box is inaccurate, even if the center position is correct. Also, the performance drops drastically once the gaze estimation is unreliable. As expected, since RetinaNet generates dense entries, it suffers more once the gaze prediction is unreliable. In the Cityscapes or dataset, the language description is designed to be informative and unambiguous for the observers. It may not be the case in the real world.
To show how the gaze information works with ambiguous description, we use the SOIE package to extract relation tuples from the original detailed description. Here is some examples. The experiment result is shown in this table. The model chain with ejected tuple is listed as S plus D. We also remove the description and only use the scene image and the gaze image for object referring. The setting is listed as S. We observe two things. The less ambiguous the language, the better OR performance. And two, the more ambiguous the language, the more gaze information helps. We show three successful results with full description and with ejected tuple and one failed case. One interesting case is figure B. The description is car is stopping for traffic signal. There is a car close to the camera to the left and several cars on the opposite direction. And the audience is looking at the car to the left. Without gaze information, the model finds the car on the opposite direction. However, with the gaze information, the model can successfully find out the car to the left. Here are more qualitative results. In summary, we make the following key contributions. We extend the one-stage object detector model to a gaze-assisted object referring system by incorporating the language description and a gaze heat map. We develop a simple but effective method to estimate the gaze heat map with the gaze prediction result and a position encoding map. The proposed method significantly outperforms the state-of-the-art object referring with gaze system by 7.8% for accuracy at 1 in the Cityscapes OR dataset. Our experiments show that the gaze information helps the most when the gaze is reliable and the language description is ambiguous. Thank you for your listening.